There we are. And there's Portal. Okay, what's up, Ferret? What's up, Blue? Blue's watching this off his PS4. Oh, that's good. Glad to hear it, man. So let me turn on the volume here. I think we're going to want this around half volume. If I hit apply on that. Does this sound like it's balanced pretty well with my voice? This is like a game you got to play every single time you start streaming a new game. <laughs> I think it was a little too high when I had it up the whole way. So. I can also bring it up to like there. Sounds all right. Okay. Let me bring it, let me bring it back down just a smidge. And then if during the course of this game, it gets out of line or whatever, just let me know and I can make adjustments on the fly. Oh, what's up, Norman? Portal's one of your favorite games? Me too, actually. So for, for anybody who doesn't know what this game is, this is a Valve game from 2007, I wanna say. And it's one of their best, in my opinion. Everybody loses their minds over Half-Life. Me, I love Portal. <laughs> but I actually haven't played this game probably in over a decade. I don't think I've played it since Portal 2 came out, and that was in, like, 2011. So, yeah, we're getting close to probably, like, 10 years since I played this game. But I've been wanting to play it again for a while, and since I really had no idea what to stream today, I was just looking through my Steam list of the giant list of games that I own, and I saw Portal, and I was like, oh, that's what I should do. This game is really fun, guys. It's very well written. It's whimsical and fun. And it's pretty short, too. Uh, depending on how long I stream tonight, we could honestly just finish it in one go here, but I don't know if I'll play for that long. But in any case, Joe, Joe's here. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm just getting ready to play some Portal. So uh, we'll start a new game. This is the PC version. I didn't actually start a new game here. I probably should have done that. It's divided into chapters. We're just going to start at chapter one. So you wake up in this little area here. No clue what's going on. There's a timer on the wall. All we can really do is get acquainted with... Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. What? A real honest to God portal. Look, we can get a look at ourselves there. So I don't remember when you actually learned this, but our character's name is Chell. Just a fun little fact for you there. Orange on one side, blue on the other. This game is so cool. Such an original concept. This is not a weighted companion cube, but... Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Really? If only I could test that. Can't actually get the cube out here, though. Nolan North is in this game? Really? I don't think I knew that. Are you sure you're not talking about Portal 2? Portal 2 is amazing. 
they're both amazing. Portal 2 kind of takes it and stretches it out in really fun ways. But this game itself, I still love a lot. Just the first one. It's just a little smaller in scope. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay. So this game is basically just a series of puzzle rooms where you have to figure out how you're going to get from one area to the next. Are these on a timer right now? Oh, oh, I missed it. Yeah, so these seem to be switching around on a timer. Oh, he's in the second game, yeah. So, did you guys know that this game was not originally developed by Valve? Well, it was. But the concept didn't actually come from Valve. The concept actually came from a game called, I want to say, Narbacular Planet or something like that. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. <laughs> yeah, it was a game developed by a group of grad students at uh, the DigiPen Institute of Technology, which has like a really awesome game development program. And Valve saw their game, Narbacular Planet, which used the portal concept, but it was... It wasn't this setting, it was like a princess escaping a dungeon or some shit like that. And Valve was like, yo, that's awesome. And they hired all those dudes, and then they created Portal. Narbacular Drop, thank you, that was it. Yeah. And apparently they chose the name Narbacular because it's not actually a real word. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. She's so informative, guys. Uh, yeah, they chose the word narbacular because it's it's not a word that's in any dictionary, so they thought that that would help with the Google searches. <laughs> fun, fun little fact there. Alright, let's go. Where's my portal? There we go. This thing is just firing off over and over and over again. I forgot that some of these early Very puzzles good. didn't even give you the gun. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. There you go, guys. That's the full rundown. Don't do any of that shit. Right. This is where the real fun begins. Now we have a portal gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> A lot of Val's best work is stuff that they bought and finished. Portal's the only one I know about. But I'm sure you're right. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. So right now we can't create the orange portals. We can only create the blue ones, and then the orange ones are going to be set up for us. So... I don't know. It's pretty easy at this point. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> and as soon as we go through the, the little blue magnetic field there, it's going to kill any portals we had created. That's how the game works. It's weird having a game that, like, freezes. 
like video and audio to load because games don't do that anymore. But this game is like 13 years old now. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Hmm. All right. Obviously gonna need this guy. There Once we go. again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Ooh, entirely on my own. I feel like some of these earlier puzzle rooms would take you a bit longer to solve if you'd never played this before. I'm somewhat familiar with the, the internal game logic that the game expects from you, so... It'll slow down at some point, though. Alright. Easy peasy. Except we need two of them. Where are we gonna get another one from? Oh. Right there, it turns out. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Oh, it's like that. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Enhancing the truth, huh? Oh yeah, this is the first time you get a glimpse of the infinite portal which is kind of a mind-blowing concept for a video game. <laughs> they bought the teams that made Left 4 Dead, Portal, and Team Fortress. I did not know that. I never did get into Team Fortress myself. I played some Left 4 Dead. I thought it was fun. I never got, like, obsessed with it, though. I just think that Portal is far and away their best game they've ever made. It's so well-written. It's so clever. It's so much fun to play. Just practically a perfect video game, if you ask me. Oh, shit. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Right, so I think we get vaporized if we step into this thing? Is that what, I, is that what she said? Ooh, it hurts. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> but you just very generously respond. One of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject phone down here. Thank you for the boilerplate compliments. It's like getting a form letter in the mail from somebody that you wrote. It's like getting a form letter from... Who was it? Pierre? And then him saying, like, P.S. Sorry for the form letter at the bottom. It's like, you son of a bitch. Meta Let's Plays bringing them together. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Thank you for that. Let's see what this does. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the Chamber Lock. <laughs> unstationary Scaffold. And yeah, they are showing you your progress here. We're at 7 out of 19 testing chambers, guys. Wow, making some quick progress, I would say. Alright, uh, I'm actually uh, not 100% sure what to do here. Let's experiment a little bit. Jump down through. Oh, so you can't shoot portals on these rough black surfaces, but if you look for the white surfaces, you should be able to land a portal on most of them. So what we're gonna do 
Just drop down right there. Oh. There we go. And again, I'll stress, the gameplay seems like kind of rudimentary right now, but by the time you get to Portal 2, it, they expand it in such awesome and uh, just really clever ways. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Followed by death. <laughs> okay, seriously, did they bust open a sewage pipe and let it leak into here? That's disgusting, man. Absolutely disgusting. So... If we pop a portal there... Bounces back... Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Gotta wait for it to bounce through that guy. And then stick it... I think right about there? Ooh, missed by about a foot. Okay. Right there. Damn it. Let's try that. Perspective's kind of tricky on this one. There it is. So... There's a light on the wall? Was there? I didn't notice that. I was trying to eyeball it. I love how they have these little creepy office areas set up everywhere where you can just get like a blurred view of, of like some kind of working area, but you can't really see anything going on. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Gives you a real rat in a lab kind of vibe. What's wrong, Blue? The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd say. Well, at first glance this does seem impossible because you can't carry this block through here. It just dies. They left you a convenient little window up there. So... The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. It's actually not that hard. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. That's generally what I do. Just ask anybody who watches my stuff. <laughs> Oh, sorry you're having stream troubles, man. <coughs> yeah, I agree, Norman. I, I do wish they'd make more games. I haven't really heard much about Half-Life Alex. Are people enjoying that? Hello again. To reiterate, previous morning, momentum. Say what? <laughs> oh, looky looky. Okay. So, I think we're going to have to uh, employ some physics here. Or just jump. That works too. Okay. Here come the physics. Ready? Wah! Yeah! You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Whoa. 
Oh, they put the orange portal there. Okay. Which means we gotta reverse it. Huh. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Well, thank you for the breakdown. That's very helpful. Whoa. Maybe not a great game to play if you suffer from vertigo. Things like that happen from time to time. It's getting good reviews, but I don't have any VR stuff or any room for that, so I can't play it myself. Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. Is like Valve is always so obsessed with pushing the media forward with every Half-Life game, right? But it's like, how many people even have a VR headset? I feel the like they really limited their audience. To always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's another one of these portals on a timer things. It's shooting the portal. So let's stick one there. Like at this point, all you have to do is wait. It's not coming out the way I want it to. Okay, let's see if I can get in that room. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to change right then. Tay Urson, you're here, but you see nothing? Really? Is anybody else not seeing the stream? It appears to be up on my feed. So this is how we get this thing out there. There we go. That hit where we needed it to. Now I think I gotta wait till I can come back. There we go. Okay, seems like nobody else is really having that issue, so... Sorry some of you guys are having issues tonight. I I think the issues on you are on your end, though, because I think the stream is just fine right now. Okay, where am I going from here? Oh, wait. The there we go. <laughs> Two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, lucky me then. So now we can place two portals, and now it really opens up, guys. Big time. Although I'm still not sure where I'm going to get out of here. Let's just get back to solid ground first. Where is the exit? You're good now, Blue? That's good. Some people are getting squared away, at least. I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. Come back out here and just get a different view. We can't shoot through these windows. Probably supposed to go back in that room over there. Hold on. Just means we gotta hit this. Ah, oh, there we go. It's on a timer. Well, it doesn't matter because I put a portal in there. <laughs> Yeah! Did it. Now nothing can stop me, guys. I'm like God in here. Blue's playing some Pokemon. You know, the only game I've really been playing... Playing yourself. Into Fling ourselves, huh? Uh, the only game I've really been playing on my own time lately is Phoenix Wright, actually. Fling! And then fling again! Drops a cube. Oh shit. You guys ready for this? We oh screwed it up. <laughs> One more try. We oh smash into the wall. Luckily, Shell is actually quite resilient. She can't stand landing in disgusting raw sewage water, but she can stand being smashed up against the wall. At, like, terminally high velocities. Well, I can't be good. I like how these are basically mattresses. <laughs> the padding on the the chamber walls here. It's like that's all you're worth. You get a couple mattresses to keep you safe. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Thanks. Makes me feel a lot better. All right. So I'm thinking we're probably going to want to bring that block with us, right? So let's start off jumping right through there. Drop that there, whatever that does for us. Want 
that's a lands right there. That gets that thing moving, and then that means I can drop in right there. How about that? Got it. Now, what to do with this thing? That is the question. Probably drop it right there. And we can use the regular chamber walls for that. mentioned required test protocol we can no longer lie to you when the testing is over you will be missed that didn't sound completely genuine to me can't quite put my finger on it but there's something about this robot lady that I don't trust I don't have a favorite Pokemon game because I actually don't really play Pokemon I never got into it I tried a couple times all subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Does anybody else not have a clue what the hell she's talking about right now? Alright, this is going to require some physics. Let's see if we can't launch ourselves up to that platform up there. Oh yeah. Beautiful. That can't be it, right? That was easier than the last one. Obviously gonna need this guy. Why are we trying to bring him though? We're gonna leave that orange portal there, come all the way back out. Aha. A complimentary victory lift. <laughs> you guys starting to see why I love the writing in this game? GLaDOS is just like such a great character. It's like the the murderous testing robot with the the veneer of kindness and compassion that's not really there. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Cake? Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Oh, that's awesome. I want cake. But first... We gotta do that! Oh yeah, did you guys see what I did there? That was a, that was a double portal. Keep the momentum going. Okay, so the energy ball passes through, no problem, which means we bring
bring it out from there. Trying to get it to land right there. So the problem is, as soon as I step through here, well, I can't shoot through this field, and as soon as I step through, my portals vanish. So the question becomes, how do we get that ball in there when we can't actually get a portal in there? Which is an excellent question, and I will let you know when I figure out the answer. <laughs> Oh, we have to get the ball to shoot in there. So we should put a blue portal right there. Then we kill the portals, and now it's kind of stuck in here. So we just do that. Nailed it. You gotta think outside the box for some of these, you know? It's part of why I like this game. It's just very clever. It makes you think. Uh, I will not be doing a Final Fantasy VII Remake LP. I apologize to tell you that, but I, I am not a Final Fantasy fan. And I have no intention of playing that game. This is an odd little setup here. So, I think we have to get enough momentum here to land on the white spaces over there and re-portal as we fall. I'm not sure if I can get that from here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't do it right, but that is what we gotta do. Except I gotta go back up here and start again. Damn it. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Keep missing. You gotta be somewhat accurate with this. It happens very quickly. Okay. Gotta aim a little bit farther than I am, I think. There we go. Did I make it? I still didn't make it. Damn it. <laughs> Might have to actually do this three times. For the love of God. I think I remember having a lot of trouble with this the first time I ever played this game, too. This is the first one where it's like, okay, once you understand how the portals work with momentum and everything, the solution's fairly obvious, but pulling it off is actually tricky. Like, the physical act of pulling it off. I keep aiming too low. I don't know why I'm doing that. There we go. Whew. All right, so we need to activate that guy. Oh, he's already activated. Okay, good. But when he shoots... That one doesn't, huh. It comes back through the field and then dies. Interesting. Down here. Let's see if we can get a peek what's down that way. Uh, the track just keeps moving. Okay. We have to figure something else out for that. I'm hoping maybe we can do the same thing here. If we can launch ourselves far enough, we can get over to the other side. 
There we go. Now. I think all we should have to do is set it up like that and then it'll go back and hit it. No. Okay, let's do this actually. Let's wait till it comes through. No, that wasn't quite right either. <laughs> if we pull it out right there, it's too far to the left. And also, it comes out shitty. So, how do we make it come out not at an angle? That is the question. Oh, oh, maybe we just... Hold on. Nope. This one's breaking my brain a little bit. That reflects it back. I wonder if it'll bounce off that wall or if it'll just die there. There's a way we can get it to hit head on. I'm just, I'm not smart enough to look at this and realize it. Straight out of there. So maybe. No. I feel like you have to be a quick shot with this. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can get it just stuck somewhere oh god <laughs> want to see if I can just get it like oh wait I have an idea no it's still coming out at an angle I gotta get it to not be at an angle That's the whole problem. I can't shoot through there, right? No portal on left pad, portal on right pad? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's still not quite doing it, though.
<laughs> Fair at admitting that he's wrong. Okay. Takes a big man to admit when you're wrong. Um, this is a brain twister, man. You gotta, we gotta figure out how to make it go straight out of these angled pads. Keeps coming out at a weird angle. We, we are onto some. Oh, you know something? Seems so simple once you figure it out. Once you figure it out, it seems so simple. How do we get the hell out of here? Uh, oh, okay, this thing's moving now. It's so slow, though. Yeah, that's the kind of thing where- oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't realize it was moving that way. Okay, that's interesting. Oh! Why? I thought I was gonna be able to walk through that just fine. Thing about this game though is the checkpoints are very generous, which I appreciate. You gotta be quick here. Fire up that way. Wah! And then. Yeah, did it. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was bouncing around far more than just up and down. And it scurred me for a second. Oh, hello. Two panels here. We gotta open both of them, apparently. There's the other switch over there. Okay. I see how this has to happen. I think we just have to be quick. Sounds like a decent cause. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm still using my vital organs. GLaDOS. But maybe I won't be for much longer, guys. 10 out of 10 would donate vital organs. <laughs> I firmly believe that everybody should donate their vital organs to science once they're dead. I understand why some people don't. Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. Oh, it has shit. been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Organ donation should be opt out. Agreed. Alright guys. We've got live fire turrets here. And uh, believe me, they are very deadly. They're they're not fucking around. Watch. The good news is they're very easy to take care of. But if you get caught, that's what happens. But they're very easy to knock over, or you can pick them up. Hey. 
Surprise, motherfucker. Stop shooting. <laughs> they have like little robot AI too. Stop shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> That's got an achievement called Friendly Fire. Oh. Forgot how creepy these things are. Are you still there? What was that? Candy cube. Way to companion cube makes all things possible, guys. All right, let's have some fun here. Oof. Oh, there's too many of them. There we go. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Gotcha, bitch. Top, put me down. Critical he says Al as he's dying. How messed up is that, man? Um There we go. Uh -oh. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you oh, that Android up. Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Android Hell, guys! We don't want to go to Android Hell. <coughs> I wonder what kind of stuff they do to you in Android Hell. You just get hacked all day long. In very unscrupulous ways. The vital apparatus vent will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, two, one. Yeah, this is the proper companion cube here. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. I'll try my best there, GLaDOS. You can tell that it's a companion cube because it has the heart. It means that it loves us. And it will never betray us. Probably. Let's see. I think I actually have a place to make a portal here, do I? So there's a spot on the wall back here. Oh, or I could just use this to jump up. It's also a possibility. The cube will protect me as I traverse the hallway. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. I must have caught it as it was bouncing back. I thought I was clever. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. 
Mm, okay. Wait, where'd my cube go? Oh. Oh, come on! <laughs> Caught me just going around the corner? The Enrichment Center reminds you that the Weighted Companion Cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. I was going the wrong way anyway, wasn't I? I, I don't remember now. Which side did I come from? Yep. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the Weighted Companion Cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Okay. Made it. Yep, this was the right way, it would seem. Well, that's going to be a hard place to reach. There's one door. <laughs> Wait a minute, why do we have to have that door open? Ah. That'd be why we have to have that door open. Okay. Though I may be able to just stand here. I don't know if that thing would definitely kill me as it passes by me, or if I could just kind of stand to the side a little bit. These are the things we must figure out. <laughs> hey, Blue, nobody puts the companion cube in the corner, okay? Oh, look at this. Oh, no! There's a little area back here. Somebody's hidey hole. I want to see it. She's watching you. Somebody went nuts and became obsessed with the companion cube. He was hiding out here with the little turret guys. The girls of Aperture Science? Mm, that sounds sexy. From 1983. And... Yeah, you can duck with the... With left control. But that actually wasn't enough to get in here. Not in Cruelty. Not in Wraths. The Reaper came today. An angel visited this gray path and took the cube away. Some of this stuff is hard to read. The cube had food, maybe ammo. Though parts and man are gone. I thought the cube would last forever. I was wrong. Oh no, the cube might not last forever. All right, so this is the shrine, I guess, to the cube. There you go, guys. <clears throat> oh, duck to get under the energy pellet. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's, I didn't even think about that. That's a good call, though. Think it would pass over me? First, we gotta figure out how to get the damn energy pellet. Probably gonna have to bring it from up here, right? So let's stick an orange portal right there. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, it just sends it right back up. 
I wonder. <laughs> These angled things always screw me up, guys. Pretty sure the person who wrote this game gone insane. Yes, is very true. Oh, no, the person who wrote the stuff in the room. Yeah, that person was definitely insane. There's no question about that. There we go. And what did that achieve for us? Oh, lifted that up. Not sure what that did for me. So there must be some reason that we need to stand on this platform just the way it is. Maybe it's because this gives us access to all of these spots to shoot. I'm not sure. Let's keep an orange one there, because that's how we get the thing into this area. Oh no, I think it'll just come straight out from there, right? Is it not shooting anymore? Why is it not shooting anymore? There's three that let you jump to the next room? Oh, these three platforms are all gonna come up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so that's our ultimate goal. I still don't understand what happened here. Okay, whatever. I'll just snag this one. The pellet stops firing once you activate the catcher thing. Okay. So we gotta go find another source of the pellet. So this one should be, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. <laughs> yeah! The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. All right, so apparently we have one more to figure out, guys. Oh, and by the way, I think you can actually destroy their cameras. To ensure the safe yeah. performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Shut up, Glados. You're not the boss of me. Not sure how this is going to work, because I can't create portals on these walls. I wonder if I can... Bank it with the cube, maybe? We don't need this cube on this switch anymore. Oh, 
Oh, that actually worked. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Ooh, that was tricky. They're getting more elaborate. In fact, we're not even done yet. Holy shit. Alright. Obviously gonna need the companion cube. I should have known. I should have thought to bring him with me. First person platforming. It's actually not that bad in this game. I remember the first game that ever did first person platforming with any sense of quality was Metroid Prime. So they had already kind of figured it out by this point. But still not the best. <laughs> you don't get a lot of space with your jumps in this game. Ah, there we go. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Don't make me do it. What if I put this in instead? Will that satisfy you? I can't. Hmm. Rest assured that an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the enrichment center, aperture science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. Yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. I'm sorry, Wilson. I'm sorry. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. <laughs> cool. Everyone else took longer to do it than me. I wonder if there's a way around that. I don't think there is. I think you have to do that. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. I like cake. I look forward to the cake. So at first I was concocting a plan to put a portal up there and then launch myself with momentum and try and make the gap. But you know what? You don't have to overcomplicate it, guys. Just stick a portal up there. And there you go. That's all it takes. And from here, I guess we're going up there. Oh, what have we here? Never, not never, but now. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's a true statement. Yeah, you know, I actually like the parkour in Dying Light. I actually, I like that game a lot. And I never finished it, and I'm mad at myself about that. I wanted to finish it, and I never did. This seems like an area we're not supposed to be, guys. Sadly, I can't open that door, but I think I can use it for a portal, actually. Nope, never mind, I'm wrong about that.
What's the point of this area? That's death down there. What the hell is that blue light? Is that a remnant from the portal I tried to place there? That shouldn't be like that. That's weird. There's something very weird going on there. <laughs> you can save the companion cube? Damn it. I wish I'd done that. bringing this computer chassis out with me. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's coming with me, damn it. So we're just trying to get up there. I could try jumping through this portal, but I might miss and die. Let's see what happens. Oh, made it! Okay, good. Very good. Now... we'll just jump up there or we could jump to that platform over there let's see what's up this way first oh that's where I came from I thought that was higher uh, okay that's fine oh it's so trippy We made it to the door. There's a switch right over there. It must be depressed. PS4 version of Dying Light isn't good. Yeah, I played it on PC. It's probably why I, I probably why I enjoyed it. Um Okay, well, I can probably get myself over there by just using that as a launching point. Let's try. Yeah. What? There's a turret nearby. Oh, there they are. Okay. Very high quality bullet resistant glass they got there. Okay, this area is complicated. <laughs> this thing to our advantage to try and take out some of these turrets. Yeah! It's awesome. Oh no. Oh! Game almost froze there. Almost. That was scary. Got him. How do we take out these two assholes up here, I wonder? Ow! What a god. Not 
sure if that'll hit them or not. Oh, my blood! He shot me so much I bled. Got one of them. Just need this last one now. See, right about there might do it. Oh, it's a little high into the left. Let's try right there. Rubes, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Spot they're aiming at on the wall. Okay, if they go back to neutral, I can do that. Like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that does work, doesn't it? That's pretty clever. Norman, I don't think I ever thought to do that. <laughs> but that's clever. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for that tip. Oh, please don't freeze. Okay, thank you. Ancient ass 2007 ass game, guys. Struggling to keep up. Alright, let's figure this room out then. Got a cube over there. Got all kinds of platforms. I see a button down there. It's the first order of business is to figure out where we're going to take this energy ball, if any, if anywhere. Could just be here to take out the turrets in fun ways. There's one in there. Oh, okay. Hold up a second. This is in kind of an awkward spot. And you got a short amount of time, very short amount of time to make that happen. Holy shit. Okay, so we're obviously going to want... We're going to want that going that way, but then I got to... Hit that switch real quick. Got it. No, come back, Mr. Platform. Come back, I need you. That thing shut down, and this gives me access to, I guess, just this. Something else on a timer now? Brings that out. Oh. We gotta launch ourselves with that, but from where? From right there, you some bitch. with you. 
Okay. Wait. Why'd that close? Damn it. So we gotta come over here, make a portal. Alright, we gotta be quick about this. Here we go! Oh shit! <laughs> That's awesome! That feels so good when you pull that off, guys. It really does. Got my companion cube. Now what? Whew. Okay, so I guess I gotta... At this point, I guess I gotta go back the way I came? Which means we gotta open this thing up again. Which means I gotta ride this thing back over here. Okay. Graphics look way better than Diablo 2. What, this game's graphics? I don't even know when Diablo 2 came out. I remember when Diablo 3 came out. Diablo 2 is, like, really freaking old at this point, though, isn't it? Okay, I left orange up there. Ah, for the love of God. There we go. Alright, so that's literally all we needed. So, we gotta be careful that we don't overshoot this now. We don't actually want the crazy momentum. Dude, this test chamber's massive! Look at this! This is gonna be fun. You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> Infinite portal loop. Oh. Very discombobulating. Uh oh. I screwed up somewhere. <laughs> Very much screwed up somewhere. Let's do this again. I like having the orange be my stationary portal because blue is on left trigger, so it just feels more natural to use that. Finals playing Barbie Pet Rescue. <laughs> oh, it's like that ferret. Okay, fair enough. Damn, it like reorients your aim every time you go through, so it's hard to come out of it aiming at the spot that you want. Ugh. Okay, now we need an orange one up there. Fuck. There. I don't know where we're going from here. Over there. Blue! 
Oh, and then orange right over there. I got this, I got this. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. Ooh, that was crazy, man. Yeah, I guess it's all part of the physics engine, but I do wish that the game didn't, like, reorient you like that when you, uh, go through a portal. Because it makes it really hard to line up your shot ahead of time. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the Equipment Recovery Annex. Enrichment Center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake. The cake. Man, that cake sounds delicious. Wouldn't you agree? So let's see what happens if I do this. It's not going the way I want it to. Alright, I think I just gotta kill that orange portal once it's through. So... There we go. Not sure how that ended up there. nice if these platforms waited a second to start moving. That thing's gone now, man. Look at it. How the fuck am I supposed to reach that? very long. Here we go. Okay, so it's wrapping back around. I gotta wait for it to come under here. It's treacherous. Um, um... I thought I had a, another second to wait on that. That's tricky, man. Okay. It's alright, though. This game's generous checkpoints are a thing of beauty. I wish all games were like that. Okay, maybe, uh... Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe we try and jump in from above, but that seems hard to time. Might be my best bet, though. might be overcomplicating this. There might be an easier way to do this. Maybe I can get rid of the stupid electric ball. Instead of taking myself around it, maybe I get it away from me. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Well, I think I have the right idea there, just not the best execution. 
<laughs> I actually haven't listened to a lot of Beatles in my life. There was a period of time where I downloaded like a like their entire discography and I sat down and I was like, alright, I'm gonna listen to the Beatles. Like all of it. And then I made it through like half an album and I didn't listen anymore. Okay, that's good enough. Uh... Oh, this is weird. That's really weird. <laughs> side of this thing. The fudge, man. Okay, let's do that. And then maybe I can just jump to it from right there. Yeah, there we go. Cake. We're almost at the cake, guys. Congratulations. The test is now over. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory candescence. Thank you for participating in this aperture science computer-aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. Well, this... This isn't ideal. But maybe we can escape! That was my chance. Yeah, I made it. What are you doing? Stop it. I, 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 We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Place the device on the ground, then lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides. A party associate will arrive shortly to collect you for your party. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position or you will miss the party. I don't know why, guys, but I don't feel like I can trust GLaDOS anymore. It's the damnedest thing. Also, what's... How did that get screwed up? Oh. Probably because I put it on the wrong damn wall. That would explain it. Okay. Wah! We make our escape. Our daring escape. You fools should have never given me this portal gun. Now you are never going to see me again. Just got an achievement called Party Goer. I guess I never played Portal 1 on Steam before. How's that possible? Unless they didn't add in achievements until later. No, oh, I totally played this game on PC before. That's weird. But I'm only now getting the achievements. Whoa. Oh. This is the murder pot assembly area. Where it all goes down, guys. into her plans. Let's get behind this fan here. Huh. Okay. 
So the other side just leads to the same area? It does seem that way. These look like a bunch of Xbox 360s in here. Not sure where my end game is here. Below us? No, oh, that doesn't seem right. Um, oh, maybe somewhere up there? Um, oh, there's a door right there I never went through. Okay. Sure, how to get on that catwalk, though. <laughs> ah! I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, guys. I don't think I'm going to finish this game tonight. Let's actually wrap up this stream right here. Uh, we've just escaped. We got through all 19 trials of GLaDOS. Oh, sorry, not trials. They're they're tests. They're tests, guys. And then GLaDOS tried to murder us, but we are making our daring escape. Which is a pretty cool part of the game. Um, I'm not sure how much is left, but we'll probably finish this on the next stream, and then we can move on to Portal 2. Just kind of killing time until Resident Evil 3 comes out right now. But, yeah. I do love these games a lot. And I'm looking forward to finishing it. So, thanks to everybody who hung out with me on stream tonight. Hope you guys had a blast. And I hope you guys are staying safe. Be smart. Be safe. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.